This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 476, Stop Comparing Your Life, Start Living It, by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Friday and last day of the month, crazy. That means it's time for another book giveaway. I'll give you more info about that at the end of the show. If you're new here, this is where I simply read blogs and book excerpts sometimes to you so that you don't have to wander around the internet yourself and stare at a screen reading it. It's all curated here for you and all for free. And it means a lot that you're here. So I'll respect your time and get right to this post from Joshua Becker as we optimize your life. Stop comparing your life, start living it by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com. Quote, Envy is ever joined with the comparing of a man's self, and where there is no comparison, no envy. Sir Francis Bacon. Most of us understand the foolishness of trying to compare ourselves to others. We would readily admit that no good ever comes from it. Yet whether we are comparing our home size, paycheck, physical features, or any number of measurable or even unmeasurable things, we do it all the time, even though we know there are inherent problems contained in the process. Number one, we most often compare the wrong things. Because we can most easily compare the things that we can objectively measure, we live in a world that is great at measuring and comparing externals. Somewhere along the way, we decided that we could determine who was living a more valuable life by comparing clothes, cars, homes, paychecks, beauty, or Twitter followers. But externals are rarely a good measure. Net worth has never been a good indicator of self-worth. Number two, we always compare our worst with their best. Comparing your life with others is always a losing proposition because there will always be people who appear to be better off than you and seemingly live the perfect life. After all, we always compare the worst of what we know about ourselves to the best assumptions that we make about others. Be advised, their life is never as perfect as your mind makes it out to be. Number three, there's no end to the comparison game. There's an infinite number of categories upon which you can compare yourself and an almost infinite number of people to compare yourself to. Once you start down that road, you will never, ever find an end. Number four, life isn't graded on a curve. How you measure up against others holds absolutely no importance in your life anyway. It simply makes no difference. The goal of life is not to be better than 50% of the other people on the planet. The goal of life is to be the best you that you can possibly be. Number five, comparison puts your focus on the wrong person. You can control one life, yours. When we consistently compare ourselves to others, we waste precious energy focusing on other people's lives rather than our own. Number six, comparison robs you of joy. Comparing yourself to others will always cause you to regret what you aren't rather than allow you to enjoy who you are. It will always steal the joy and happiness that is within your reach and place it just outside of your reach instead. Many a contented life has surely been stolen by the unhealthy habit of comparing ourselves to others. Comparing ourselves to others will always rob us of gratitude, joy, and fulfillment. But even more than that, it prevents us from fully living our lives. It calls us to envy someone else's life and seek theirs rather than ours. It is robbing us of our most precious possession, life itself. And while the temptation to compare may never be completely eliminated, there are certainly some practical steps that we can take to move past it. Consider a few of these. Number one, recognize the inherent problems in comparing yourself to another. Take a good listen to the list you just heard. Why would we want any habit in our life that promotes feelings of inferiority or consistently promotes envy, competition, and strife with no end in sight? Sometimes just a reminder of the foolishness contained in the habit is the most important step in overcoming it. Number two, celebrate who you are. There are many wonderful things about your life. You are an artist, or a businessman, or a mother, or a good listener, or a generous soul. You have much to celebrate and are entirely unique. Any comparison between you and another person is like comparing apples to oranges. They aren't living your life, you are. Therefore, you should expect the results to be completely different. Number three, focus inward. Value generosity, humility, goodness, kindness, and love. Begin to focus on developing the inward qualities of a simplified life and the externals will lose their beauty. And the quicker we find beauty on the inside, the sooner we'll stop comparing things on the outside, skin deep beauty, paychecks, or power. Number four, realize life is not a competition. 
There may be times when competition is appropriate, but life is not one of them. We have all been thrown together at this exact moment on this exact planet. And the sooner we stop competing against others to quote unquote win, the faster we can start working together to figure it out. Number five, remember that nobody is perfect. We live in a society that glamorizes perfection. Consider that magazine racks are full of models and celebrities with perfect faces telling one-sided stories of great triumph and fulfillment. One important step to avoiding the lure of comparison is to remember that one snapshot in time never tells the whole story. The story is never told of the hours in a makeup room or the photo editing technique to cover the blemishes. The story is rarely told of their insecurities or failures, except to mention how they overcame them. That story doesn't sell nearly as many magazines. But the truth remains, there are no perfect people, including you and including me. Number six, live as intentional as possible. Too many people live their lives without intentionality or thought. They rarely find a quiet moment to sit in meditation or solitude and examine their life, who they are and who they're becoming. As a result, lives are lived as a reaction to the events around them. But when a life is lived intentionally and thoughtfully, the comparison game becomes less attractive. As humans, it is in our nature to compare ourselves to others, but nothing good ever comes from it. So let's stop comparing ourselves to others. We were not born to live their life. There's no sense wasting our life or energy being jealous of theirs. Instead, let's start living our lives. Let's determine today to be good at it. After all, we only get one shot. You just listened to the post titled Stop Comparing Your Life, Start Living It by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com. And like I mentioned at the top of the show, it is the last day of the month if you're listening in real time. And if you're a long-time listener, well, then you know that means it's time for a book giveaway. And if you're a long-time listener, then hopefully you're already on my weekly newsletter. Otherwise, you're missing out on all the raffles and some free tools and tips and quotes and pictures from my life once a week. But anyway, the raffles, that's happening tonight at midnight. So make sure you're on my mailing list. It's totally free. Just come by oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com and you can enter your email address there. And for more bonus raffles and to be in closer contact with me, you can join the small Facebook group. The shortcut link is oldpodcast.com slash Facebook. And I don't wanna bombard you with info, so just oldpodcast.com and oldpodcast.com slash Facebook is the place to be for all these raffles. And I think that's enough for today. Hope you're having a happy Friday, and I'll see you on April 1st tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.